Hi, I'm Melody Jackson, and this is Barbara Courier, and we are here from Georgia Tech in Atlanta, Georgia, and we are representing the FIDO project, which stands for Facilitating Interactions for Dogs with Occupations. And we have here today uh, our dog Blitz. Barbara's, uh, he is her active service dog, and uh, he's going to demonstrate how assistance dogs can communicate with their handlers. And we'll give you a, a little bit of a scenario. For example, uh, hearing dogs have to be able to alert to different sounds for someone who is deaf. So if a, a hearing dog hears the person's name or the doorbell or the baby crying, they're going to take the person to the source of the sound. So that means the person has to get up and go into another room. But what if it's a tornado siren that they're hearing? Um, so how does a dog take someone to a storm warning tornado siren? So what we have uh, Blitz is demoing today is a vest that we've made, the Fido vest, that allows him to either tug, bite, or wave his nose over different sensors to activate uh, a message that might be given. Now right now this vest is, um, is uh, programmed to do uh, what we call a discrimination task. It means we can tell the difference between two toys. We don't have the toys with us right now, but Blitzy, can you show us how you might tell us what toy we are holding up? So Blitz is actually going to use the uh, tug sensor that you can see hanging off of there, and he's going to He's going to say, I found a Frisbee. Boy, so yeah. if we had a Frisbee we were showing him, he'd be able to do that. On the other side of his vet, good boy, yeah. as you can see, he loves his work. Good boy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you the other yeah. sensor on the other side, which is a bite yeah. sensor. So all of these sensors are based on the natural capabilities yeah. of dogs. And uh, this is biting, tugging, and touching with their nose. That's a bite sensor that he's doing right now. And uh, it should give a message that says... That's a ball. So we could ask him by holding up a toy, which toy we were, uh, we were showing him, and he'd be able to tell us. But we could also say, what sound was that you just heard? Or uh, let's say he, Blitz is a medical alert dog, and so let's say that his partner was in trouble medically, having uh, a medical issue. He could actually use one of these sensors to activate her cell phone to send a message to her husband, to 911, and in the United States that allows us to call emergency services. Um, so he could actually call uh, an ambulance if she needed it.